what would you say makes your dad like so Mexican? What's the most Mexican aspect of him where you're like, oh my god. That's a great question. He's a, such a Mexican dad, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's such a good one. I know, I know. El Jaripeo, right? Um, and I feel like your family brings a lot of twists and turns sometimes. Like, I know you've done uh, with the marching band USC, which was epic. Un puño de teatro. I'm like, what? Where? With El Jaripeo, do you guys want to bring new energy? Are you trying to redefine Jaripeos at some point? What does that look like? Oh, yes. We are trying to redefine it. Tell us. <laughs> and we will. We we're definitely, we definitely will. We were, we were on the right track, but this COVID thing, you know, it stopped everything. Of course. But uh, we, we wanted to establish ourselves as a serious brand, you know, mm -hmm. as something that, you know, was worthy to go see. Uh, and then after that, we were going to start revamping it and removing it and reshaping it. And, and we didn't have the chance to do it. Uh, but, okay. but now, oh my gosh, now it's going to be it, it, it's gonna be crazy. We have a lot of plans to 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 start mixing mixing up different things from our culture and different Latin American cultures, and also with technology, and also with uh, with with the current uh, mm -hmm. uh, lights and sound and everything that is available for this type of shows. So que va de producción va de producción total. I love it. Now maybe you two can touch on this subject a little bit. What do you think is the status of like traditional music with the younger generations? Do you feel like you kind of need a push to get them um, to enjoy this kind of show, or how, what do you feel about that? I feel like my brother and I, when we first started to sing Mariachi music and Mexican music, um, I was literally nine years old. I was eight, nine years old. I, I saw you, yeah. Well. So, like, it was hard because people didn't know, people didn't understand what we were talking about, or our generation didn't really, like, um, see themselves listening to that type of music. Mm -hmm. And it's truly amazing that now um, regional Mexican music and Mexican music is, is so popular around the world and it's, and it's doing amazing. So I don't think it's hard for people to come and see us sing, see perform this, these songs because right now it like people just want to be a part of something. And if you're Mexican, it's amazing to be here, to be indulged in the traditions and just like know and learn. Dentro de la música Rio Mexican, there's a whole bunch of yeah. branches mm -hmm. or different styles. What we do is more traditional, but um, I don't know how much traditional. Que tan tradicional sea, porque igual y si, pues si cantas una canción como Puño de Tierra, eh, no la puedes cantar de otra manera, pero no es our new material, the one, the one that we're going to come up with. <laughs> right, right, right. Very, very, very different. Very different. Okay. It's a mix of, 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 of what's going on right now, which is cool. It's amazing. You know, I've never seen in 30 years of singing, nunca había visto a tanto músico virtuoso dentro de la música mexicana. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. Never in 30 years in my life. I've never seen it. And I was talking to some friends of mine, to some musicians, que tocan acordeón y que tocan bajo quinto, y decía, es que esto, o sea, ver a los chavitos tocando. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally new. That's totally new. Yeah. That was for rock, you know? That, that, I, I, was, I was born into that, but that was rock. You know, hammer on, pull off, todos estos tipos de, de, de técnicas que ahora se utilizan in la música mexicana. What the heck is going on? Okay. The world is upside down. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Nada más que no todo tiene que sonar igual. No, no, yo no tengo, a, a mí no me interesa hablar de narco corridos, ni me interesa hablar de corridos verdes, ni me interesa hablar de diferentes ramas de la música mexicana que yo respeto, pero yo tengo mi estilo. Y ahora la fusión que estoy haciendo it, it, I don't have to go anywhere but my way in order to, to sound different. Ellos, pues no sé qué van a hacer. Bueno, regre, ah, regresando, 
it's going back to Petty Bill. Okay. Um, you can listen to whatever branch of regional Mexican you want. You can barely speak English. Mm -hmm. You can only speak Spanish, whatever it is. Um, and you're still gonna enjoy the show. Because it's, it's, it's a very, I don't know if I can say this word, it's a very badass show. Okay. Just in general. For sure. Uh, there's bulls, there's horses, there's mariachi, there's banda, there's rock, there's pop, there's a lot of twists and turns, there's comedy, there is like some very intense, serious moments, you know, there's, it's a show where anything can happen. Because okay. it's live animals, you know? I love that. So, definitely. Live animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your definition. <laughs> French, you enjoy original Mexican, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. What would you say makes your dad, like, so Mexican? What's the most Mexican aspect of him where you're like, oh my god. That's a great question. He's a, such a Mexican dad, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, that's uh, such that's a good question. I know, I know. I, I have an easy, his food tastes. Okay. Oh my god, they're so Mexican. How about him? <laughs> no, no, even more. It goes, oh my god! The the my guy. food taste. No, it goes beyond because everybody oh has their comfort food, right? Everybody okay. has their comfort food. And it's no secret, like, we like things, uh, it's like certain things because they remind us of something that of we Of course, like. yeah. And so my dad's favorite food is huevos en salsa, you know, tortillas, frijoles. Right. You know, of course, um, yeah. Aguas frescas. Salsas. Exactly. Okay. And now during the pandemic that I was in Tayagua for a year and a half, I got it. I understood oh, okay. completely why he, he loves that so yeah. much. But I think that's the most stereotypical Mexican of course. dad thing that no. he has. Oh, yeah. 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 That and also los dichos mexicanos. A veces dice unas cosas, you don't even understand what he's saying. He goes, más rápido que hay un hablador que no sé cuál. And you're here like, okay. Like, There's some that then, I don't know if he's making up on the yeah, spot. Yeah, I don't right. know if he's making it up. And then sometimes in, when we do interviews in English, he'll try to like translate it and it doesn't it work. Yeah, it's like, sana sana colita drana. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>